Lex was uh, talking earlier about he's trying to add infrared to his business. And Lex, I don't know what business you're in, but he's concerned about the more effective far wave sauna since my whole family will be using it as well. You got like a health spa? Yeah, is that uh, Lex, if you're still here, I'd, I'd love to hear a little bit more. There's a bunch of things I could teach you about that. I mean, I don't personally have one yet because the real estate prices here are so inflated that it takes the profitability out of the store or retail storefront for me. But if they weren't, we weren't in that cycle, I would have a sauna studio. And there's a lot of things where you can add win-win value for customers. Like you could do PBMT red light therapy. So you get near infrared therapy as a separate session, and then you have value to add on your packages, even though you charge more for it. You spend an extra $1,200, maybe $1,800 upfront to add these devices. And then once that's paid for, the rest is gravy. Uh, looking into infrared sauna, cold plunge, red light, and halo therapy business currently. I think looking so, into it. All right. So he has a salt studio and then he wants to add sauna, red light, and cold plunge, which is smart. Sounds, sounds about right. Yeah, because they all go together and they're all complimentary. You definitely should. I mean, I Good think question. all those are great, great options. It's a win-win both for the customer and for the business. You'd be providing heat therapy, cold therapy, and light therapy, which are great along with the, the halo. He already knows all this stuff. You got monthly packages, you got one-off services, you got bundles where you can come in, you could set up uh, PBMT body panels or red light therapy panels separately from the sauna, like in the changing room. They could be doing red light therapy while the sauna is preheating if the staff doesn't already have that on a schedule. Commercial is way different than residential, bud, because you're going to have control over the build out. You're going to have control over your pigtail drops for all your electrical outlets. If the walls are open and you're doing renovations, it's no big deal to put in, you know, dedicated 30 to 50 amp circuit to run all this stuff. It's way easier than residential or homeowner application. So you'll have flexibility from two to four person. What you really got to decide is what the demand will be in your location. How many people per day? Is it going to be individual use? And are there uh, multiple uses at one time? That'll tell you how many saunas you need. And some of this you won't know up front because you don't know what delivering the service is like because you haven't tried it before in your area. So you don't want to go out and buy 10 saunas when you don't know if you can keep them all full from a business perspective, it'd be bad investment. Plus you're going to do all the overhead at the same time. If you get one four person sauna and most of your clientele is, I don't know, a lady that comes in that for a single session, that's not bringing her kids or family or anything else, you're going to have a hard time with one or two four person saunas because they're too big. They're not really utilized effectively that you should have smaller size based on the, the clientele needs. And you would have done better with three one-person saunas or three two-person saunas instead of one or two big ones because then you have more rooms you can keep full at, at one time. There's a comfort versus performance aspect for the clientele also. They might like a big sauna if you have staff on hand that can preheat the sauna an hour and a half ahead of time because they can lay down or put their feet up or do all this crazy stuff. But at the same time, if you don't have that and you're there's no you're not cognizant about the preheating schedule and yada, 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 and you're hot lapping them from customer to customer cleaning in between. There's a performance compromise for having those large saunas just for one person to use, if that makes sense. We're getting into like nitty gritty stuff, Steve. I don't know if he was really asking for this. Yeah, <laughs> you probably more than he bargained for, Lex. Take well, that.